Hi, it's Tanya from My Forking Life, and today we're in the kitchen and we are making creamed cabbage with sausage. Now, this is a really quick and easy recipe that I love when I want some indulgent cabbage. Yeah, covered with a rich cream sauce. Now, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, hit that bell notification so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Also, please give me a thumbs up if you like this content. All right, let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is gather all our ingredients. I've got here a head of cabbage. I've also got some spicy and dooley, dooley sausage. You can also use cabeza or any kind of smoked sausage. If you're not gonna use smoked sausage, you can still use sausage. You might just cook it a little bit longer. The other ingredients I mentioned before, I'm using some heavy cream, a little bit of sugar to balance flavors, some Worcestershire sauce, and some salt and pepper. All right, let's get started by cutting this Head of cabbage in half. That's a big old head. Ah, and I'm only gonna use half of this head of cabbage. It's a medium sized head and it's gonna give me enough cabbage for this recipe. I'm gonna save the other side for later. And I'm just gonna kind of slice it thin to shred it. And you see we've got nice little Kind of shreds of cabbage and I'm gonna set this to the side now if you want to make a double batch of this recipe you could totally use that other half of cabbage this is usually the amount of cabbage that fits in my pan so I usually only use half the head I'm also gonna take that sausage and I'm gonna only use half of it so this is a 14 ounce thing of smoked sausage save that for later and I'm just gonna use half of it and I'm gonna chop it So I've got my sausage chopped, I've got my cabbage chopped, and I am ready to head to the stove. So I've got myself a large skillet and I've set that over medium high heat because I'm going to start by browning that andouille sausage. So I'm just gonna get my pan warm first and then I'm gonna go ahead and continue on. I'm going ahead and adding my andouille sausage to that pan. Your sausage should have enough fat in it to kind of render its own grease to brown. If you're concerned that it's gonna stick, you can totally just use a little bit of oil in the pan. And I'm just gonna brown this for two to three minutes. This sausage is already cooked. If you look on the package, it says fully cooked, so I don't need to cook it. I just wanna brown it and warm it up. All right, so it's been about three-ish minutes. As you can see, my sausage is getting brown. There's brown bits on the bottom of the pot. I'm gonna go ahead and add my cabbage. And kind of stir that in there. And I'm gonna continue stirring this cabbage until it softens just a little bit. That's gonna take about five minutes. And you can see why I use only half of the head of cabbage because half of a head of cabbage is usually a lot of cabbage. Now, because I didn't add any oil earlier and it wasn't that much fat in my sausage, I'm just going to add just a little bit of water. It's going to help speed up softening some of this cabbage. Again, you'll just have to watch it and you'll kind of know if you need water, right? Like if you smell it and you're kind of concerned like, ooh, this, this stuff is getting real brown and it's not really softening, just add a little bit of water. That was about like a tablespoon. Ooh. And that cabbage is getting nice and brown and golden. It's getting some of that juice from the bottom. And we're just gonna continue stirring until it softens just a little bit more. All right, so you can see my cabbage has softened a lot. But we're not done. We are going to add in some heavy cream. This is, I mean, oh, well, let me say this. You could totally just add salt and pepper to this right now and eat it and it'll be bomb, but I'm gonna be extra and just add in a cup of heavy cream along with a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Two teaspoons of sugar to balance the flavors. And some salt and pepper. 
but I'm gonna go ahead and reduce this as well because I do want this to simmer, to simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes to kind of thicken that cream a little bit, melt those flavors, flavors, what are flavors? Flavors as well. So I've turned my heat down to medium and I'm gonna let this mixture simmer about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna check on it just to make sure, you know, all my liquid isn't gone. All right, I'll be back. All right, so our cabbage has been simmering for about 10 minutes. As you can see, that liquid has reduced and thickened a lot. If you wanted to reduce and thicken some more, you can totally cook it some more. This is good for me. So I'm going to turn off my heat and I'm going to season this with just some salt and pepper. If you're wondering how much salt and pepper to add, I say to taste, but I usually add about a teaspoon of kosher salt and about a half teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. I promise you, it does make a difference. That's enough. And we are going to just let that sit there for a little bit. Look at that. Y'all, if you could smell this right now, you'd be like, I want some of that. All right. I'm gonna let this cool a little bit before I eat it, but I am gonna go ahead and grab a nice bit of it. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. I said a little bit, but I'm hungry, so I'm gonna get a little bit more. Pork. All right, and now to taste test, I am gonna get a little bit of cabbage and a little bit of sausage. Mm -hmm. It's still hot. Now this is good as a side on its own. You can also put this over rice, mashed potatoes. It's your world, do whatever you like. All right guys, until the next time.